Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Wave and we're back with another video. I know it's been a couple of days since I posted, but there really hasn't been much Lee Angelo Ball news on the Hornets. So I will be making a lot more NBA videos, but today we're going to talk about Lee Angelo Ball once again and we have some update to what he's been doing ever since playing in the Charlotte Hornets Summer League where he showed out an average double digits and minimal playing time but before we get on to the video man make sure to subscribe hit that like button and turn on the bell for more future daily updates on Lee Angelo in the NBA and with all that being said let's get right into the video as we all know this whole summer Lee Angelo Ball played and worked out with the Charlotte Hornets and he finally got his real NBA chance playing in the summer league this year averaging 9.6 points per game 2 rebounds, 1.6 deals, shooting 34.5% from the 3-point line, and only 15 minutes per game. <clears throat> Leangelo did shoot 37.5% from the field, and he played a lot better than a lot of the other Charlotte Hornets players on the Summer League, and everybody's been waiting for the news that we all want to hear, and that's to hear Lee Angelo Ball officially signed to a real NBA contract by hopefully the Hornets, and if not, another NBA team. But a lot of people are curious what Lee Angelo Ball has been up to. We haven't really heard much of him, but recently Lee Angelo Ball posted on its Instagram this photo right here. You guys can see it's in Los Angeles, California. Uh, he's back to wearing BBBs. As you guys all know, throughout the Summer League, Lee Angelo Ball only wore the Jordan 13, 13s and only those. He didn't really switch out his shoes. He literally wore the same colorway too, that tan, uh, kind of look like Timberland colorish, you know, uh, 13s, which again, they are pretty heat, but for him to be back in BBBs, Triple Bs, and you know repping the whole you know family business that's pretty cool but as you guys can see he still has the charlotte hornets uh jersey on or like you know the charlotte hornets what should i call it um tank top tank top on so i don't want to get too you know too speculative speculative man i cannot pronounce that word to save my life but what i mean to say is you know i don't want to get too ahead of ourselves and already assume that he's on the team but for Lee Angelo to be wearing the Charlotte Hornets tank top still, uh, that, I think it honestly is saying something because you never saw Lee Angelo Ball, you know, wearing the Detroit Pistons gear even after getting cut, you know, a lot of people are going to say, oh, he's just wearing it uh, just as a workout shirt, but I think it's a little bit of a deeper meaning behind this because... You know, he's never wore the Detroit Pistons gear, and it's just a little fishy, so, you know, let me know in the comment section, I might be tripping, or this might be a real sign, because for Leangelo to still wear that tank top, uh, it means that, you know, clearly the Charlotte Hornets organization and, and him haven't cut ties yet, they really must be talking, because he's not wearing the Pistons gear right now, I can tell you that for sure, but... Uh, you guys can see, man, Leangelo's tatted up in this photo, uh, wearing that Charlotte Hornets gear, but he's wearing the Triple B shoes, uh, the lifestyle shoes as well, and uh, he has an ankle brace on his right, is that his right, on his left ankle, you guys can kind of see, it's like a white ankle brace, so I think it's, you know, I think, I don't think his ankle is too bad right now, but he's just wearing it to be extra cautious, he's got that Gucci bag right there, you know, Leangelo's been always drippy, but, you know, Let's talk about another photo on Instagram that recently got revealed and that was a photo of all three brothers and seems like it's still in Los Angeles. Uh, the picture I showed you guys before of <clears throat> Lee Angelo Ball in the gym was in Los Angeles too and this one is in LA and all three Ball brothers are together, LaMelo, Jello and Lonzo and this is a recent photo maybe about two days ago or even a day ago and it seems like they're back on set you know producing or filming some sort of show or something because the caption talks about them um you know acting you know put them in your movie in your box office take double so <clears throat> who knows it might be a little commercial they're doing it might be um you know as we all know lamello and lonza were in a commercial for the black widow marvel movie so maybe all three ball brothers are going to be in you know a little bit of a commercial or just a, a promotional thing because as we all know leans level has been uh, a footlock promoter before uh, and he's been a lot of in 
and he's done a lot of brand deals before as well. But other than that, I think the main thing to take away from today's video is Leangelo Ball still wearing that Charlotte Hornets tank top. Because I honestly think it means something. We can even go back to Leon Zobal's post on Instagram to when he was with the Detroit Pistons. We never saw him once wearing a Pistons gear in his, you know, basketball, uh, you know, basketball IG pics. He's just wearing some regular shorts and stuff. But, you know, I think it honestly means something. You know, a lot of you guys might say I'm tripping in the comments section. Don't flame me too much. But I think there was a deeper meaning behind this. Uh, you know, I think that they're still talking. I don't think that the uh, Hornets have cut ties with him because I think he still deserves a training camp invite. The way he played in the Summer League, it really showed a lot of people that he is an NBA caliber player. We've seen it from Jason Tatum saying that Lee Angelo Ball deserves an NBA spot and he's worked hard for it. You know, the NBA isn't stupid. They played that last Summer League game against the Bulls for a reason. Um, you know, that was nationally televised for a reason. You know, the, the NBA is smart, man. Their marketing is really, really smart. And I do believe that Leangelo will get a spot on the Charlotte Hornets because it just wouldn't make sense. You know, the Charlotte Hornets could really use him. We've seen he's agile. People knocked at Leangelo about that. They said that he was too slow. He's not going to be able to play NBA level defense. Um, his athleticism isn't elite, but we saw Leangelo Ball dunk the ball off two feet with barely a running start. Uh, we saw Leangelo Ball play one of the best defense in the Summer League uh, for the Hornets team at least because he averaged almost two steals, 1.6 steals per game. Uh, you know, he was poking the ball. He's playing hard. He was the only one running back on defense and offense. He would, he would be literally the first one running back. If you guys noticed that, you know, you're a real one and you can really understand how hard Leangelo Ball actually put in this Summer League and the coaches take notice of that. Because we've heard in interview clips the coaching staff praising Lee Angelo Ball and how hard he works. So for him to still be wearing the Charlotte Hornets tank top, I think that it means that he ultimately still is going to go to the training camp. And after that, we're going to see, you know, does he, does he play well enough in the training camp against other NBA caliber players? Uh, to make the team or not to make the team. But this is going to end off the video, man. Let me know in the comments section, am I tripping or do you guys think that Leigh Angelo Ball wore that tank top for a reason? And it's kind of funny how you can only see a little sliver of that tank top. So uh, let me know in the comments section and comment down below, is Leigh Angelo Ball going to make the Charlotte Hornets official roster? Um, I believe he's already, you know, going to get a training camp invite because you know it, it just wouldn't make sense man let the kid ball let Leans the ball get his fair shot training camp has to be a must for Leans the ball to make it uh and with all that being said man subscribe hit that like button turn on the bell the support has been absolutely crazy comment down below what other nba topics you guys want me to cover and with all that being said i'm out peace